Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I'd like to call upon Professor Margaret McGlynn to present Western University's land acknowledgement. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that our beautiful Western campus is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Attawandaran peoples who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the City of London. The local First Nation communities of this area include Chippewa of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Muncie Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nations communities and a growing indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and all of the original peoples of Turtle Island, also known as North America. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind, and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded 140 years ago. We welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Maria Clawe, an acknowledgement of her achievements in an outstanding role, model, and pioneer for encouraging and advancing women and underrepresented groups in science and engineering. As well, we want to recognize her significant contributions to discrete mathematics, theoretical computer science, and interactive multimedia for mathematics education. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Dr. Hanan Lufi Ya, Faculty of Science. Okay, good morning, graduates and, and parents and family, uh, other family and friends. Uh, today, uh, um, Dr. Maria Clave received her second PhD in computer science from the University of Toronto after completing a first PhD in mathematics from Alberta. She worked at IBM before becoming a faculty member in computer science at the University of British Columbia, where she served as chair of the Department of Computer Science and then as dean of the Faculty of Science. She then moved to Princeton to serve as dean of engineering and then to Harvey Mudd College to serve as president. Throughout her career, she has made significant research contributions in the areas of mathematics and computer science and is a thought leader in improving the representative participation of women and underrepresented minorities in STEM fields. Professor Clave has made significant research contributions in discrete mathematics, theoretical computer science, and interactive multimedia for mathematics education. Her leadership of the interdisciplinary collaborative electronic games for education in math and science or the eGEMS project led to uh, the identification of fundamental principles required for effective education software for all genders. Throughout her career, Professor Clave has done more than anyone else in encouraging and advancing women and underrepresented groups in science and engineering. As chair of computer science at the University of British Columbia, she increased female computer science majors and more than doubled the number of female faculty. Her most recent success as president of Harvey Mudd 
Professor Clave fostered curricular changes that emphasize experiential learning. Today at Harvey Mudd College, half of the graduates in computer science, physics, and engineering are women. While in North America, 18% of computer science graduates are women. Furthermore, she has led strong efforts to diversify the student body to include more underrepresented minorities or underrepresented students. Many computer science departments are look at trying to duplicate Harvey Mudd's efforts by fostering similar curricular changes. She's an inspiration for many faculty and students. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor in the name of the Senate for her remarkable scientific achievement and her tremendous contributions to the promotion and advancement of women and underrepresented minorities, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor Science Honoris Causa upon Dr. Maria Clave. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Clawe. On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumnus, Dr. Maria Clawe, to address convocation. Good morning. It's a thrill to be here, and I want to start by congratulating all of today's graduates, and thank you for the opportunity to give the convocation address. I'm particularly happy to be giving the address at the Engineering Convocation, as engineering is one of the best educations enabling graduates to make the world a better place. I will start with the story of my convoluted path into engineering. I also want to highlight the importance of encouraging and supporting all kinds of people, men, women, people of all races and backgrounds, to become engineers. Fifty years ago, when I was applying to universities, yes, it's very hard for me to believe it's that long ago, there were almost no girls interested in becoming engineers. I had grown up as my father's son. I was the second of four daughters, and I was convinced I was actually a boy who had the bad fortune to be born in a girl's body. Almost everything that I liked, math, playing the trumpet, painting, woodworking, and building stuff, was not supposed to be for girls. I thought civil engineering and architecture would be the best way to combine my loves for math, art, and design and creative problem solving, <coughs> and was accepted into the engineering program at the University of Alberta. While registering for classes, I was told that as an engineering major, I was not, would not be allowed to take the most advanced math classes because those were reserved for the honors math and physics majors. As anyone in my family can tell you, the easiest way to convince me to do something is to tell me I'm not allowed. <laughs> so in an instant, I transferred to being an honors math major and decided I'd just have to satisfy my love for painting by being an artist on the side. I loved my classes in math and fine arts, but by the start of my third year, I was frustrated that I couldn't figure out how I could use pure math to make the world a better place. In December 1970, I dropped out and spent the next 21 months traveling. A year later, while on a beach in India, I finally accepted that I couldn't live without doing math and decided to return and do a PhD. While doing my PhD, I was sure my career would be as a math professor in a Canadian university. It never happened. 
That year, there were only a couple of academic openings for pure mathematicians in Canada the year that I graduated. I didn't get either of them. I did get an assistant professorship at a university in Michigan and took it, but I hated it, mostly for lifestyle reasons. No ethnic restaurants, no foreign movies, no bookstores, no boyfriends, I was single, and no other Canadians. By chance, I discovered that some of the mathematicians whose research I respected were professors in computer science rather than math departments, and that there were lots of job openings in computer science. I decided to do a second PhD, and in the fall of 1978, I started as a graduate student at the University of Toronto. My plan was to do all of the course requirements in my first year and write my thesis in the second. Five months later, I was being asked to apply for positions in computer science departments in Canada. Toronto heard that I was interviewing for positions elsewhere, and they demanded that I apply to their department. I did, and in the fall of 1979, assisted as a, as a, started as an assistant professor in computer science. And I should clarify, people say I got a second PhD in computer science. I didn't. Um, I got hired as an assistant professor of computer science, so I do have an honorary doctorate from Toronto so in, in computer science, so sort of. <laughs> Since then, I've spent much of my research career in both math and computer science, and have satisfied my desire to make the world a better place by working on transforming the culture of science and engineering <laughs> so that these fields are supportive of women and members of other underrepresented groups. In Canada, most computer science departments are in the Faculty of Science. And eventually, after working at IBM Research in San Jose and being head of computer science at UBC, I became dean of science at UBC. After 14 wonderful years at UBC, I decided that if I wanted to influence the culture of science and engineering around the world, I needed to return to the United States. Canada is definitely a better country. That was true even before November 2016. <laughs> but the culture of science and engineering is largely set in the United States. And for the most part, the US is oblivious to what happens in Canada. Well, actually, given the G7 summit, um, actually the US is paying more attention to Canada than usual. But in the US, most computer science departments are in the Faculty of Engineering, and that's how I ended up as Dean of Engineering at Princeton University, and then as President at Harvey Mudd College, a tiny undergraduate college of science and engineering in Southern California. Harvey Mudd was founded in 1955, so it's a lot younger than the University of Western Ontario, with the goal of creating leaders who understand the impact of their work on society. Over the last decade, the folk the college has focused on learning how to recruit and retain women and people of color in fields like engineering, computer science, and physics, where they are strongly underrepresented at most institutions. In that time, the percentage of computer science majors at Harvey Mudd College, who are female, has gone from 10% to 50%. In engineering, from 25% to between 45 and 55%, depending on the year, and in physics, from 20% to 50%. We've also seen dramatic increases in students of color in all our disciplines. The key elements in this six has have been, one, aiming for a learning environment where everyone feels engaged and supported. Two, making clear connections between concepts and tools and their impact on solving key problems facing the world. And third, emphasizing collaboration, creativity, and communication skills for everyone. I know that the University of Western Ontario also embraces these approaches. And in fact, sometimes I say that Harvey Mudd, working at Harvey Mudd, it reminds me of being at UBC and the very best honors students that I worked with there, because Harvey Mudd students are very Canadian. They're hardworking. They want to improve the world. They are humble, and they're very talented. So now let me finish by trying to inspire you to do great things in making the world a better place. Until I was in my mid-30s, I thought that one's long-term level of achievement and impact was mostly influenced by one's ability. 
I was wrong. Turns out that if one wants to make progress on an important problem, whether in research or in changing the world, the most important elements are first, pick a good problem. It's really a waste of your effort if it's not at least a good problem. Two, persist and work hard, especially when success is doubtful. And three, regularly evaluate your approach and be willing to rethink your strategy. So I, I'm very stubborn, as I already mentioned, and I have a habit of running at full speed into brick walls. This is not necessarily a good idea. In most cases, the brick wall is stronger than I am. So when I say reevaluate your strategy, what I mean is I quite often find that if I just look a little bit further down that brick wall, there's a door. <laughs> and you can open it. In most cases, it's also important to know how to build teams and alliances and to be willing to ask for help. People do great things when they decide to do a great thing and stick with it. Every single one of you is capable of doing great things. I want to close with some advice for your future based on my experience. Number one, build your support network. Recruit and nurture your cheerleaders. I'm very lucky to have had an amazingly supportive husband for the last 38 years and two wonderful children who are now 36 and 33. That is so hard to believe. But I also intentionally mentor many other people. I learn as much or more from them as they do from me. But even more importantly, if I'm discouraged by the lack of progress on my, in my day job, spending time talking to a mentee re-energizes and inspires me. Number two, ask for help. Because I've been the first woman in my role for the last 30 years, I sometimes feel vulnerable and have tended to refrain from asking for or even taking help when it's offered. Over time, I've learned that asking for and taking help is incredibly effective in resolving issues and crises. And like everything else, it gets easier with practice. And then last but not least, do not be afraid to fail. You learn more from failure than from success. And by being open about failing, you empower others around you to aim high and risk failure. I'm incredibly proud of all of you and what you have achieved. And I have no doubt that you're gonna make the world a better place. Congratulations again to the graduating class of 2018. Thank you, Maria, for your address and inspiring all of us, particularly our students, uh, to make the world a better place. In more than one ways, you have been a trailblazer. You have been an innovator, and we are proud to have the opportunity now to count you as one of our own. Your contributions have varied and many. Your leadership has provided encouragement and opportunities for underrepresented groups who wish to study engineering and science, and you have demonstrated that what uh, appeared to be impossible actually can be achieved through innovation, creativity, and determination. You're an outstanding role model who has made significant contributions, not only to those societal issues, but also to the science of mathematics and computer science, interactive multimedia to enhance mathematics education. Distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating Western's newest honorary doctor of science, Dr. Maria Cloy. I take pleasure in asking the Vice Chancellor to present to convocation our newly appointed Professor Emeritus. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will Professor Kazimir Adamiak step forward? Dr. Adamiak joined the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering in 1990. His research interests include gas discharges, electrohydrodynamics, non thermal plasma, and microfluidics. Among other research contributions, he has published more than 140 peer-reviewed articles and given more than 100 conference presentations devoted to these topics. 
He was named a fellow of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and received many other awards and recognitions, including the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Electrostatics Society of America. As a result of research collaboration with researchers worldwide, he was a visiting professor at numerous universities in a number of countries, including Sweden, France, Japan, Canada, and USA. He has been a member of the editorial boards of leading journals in his field. Currently, he is an associate editor in the Journal of Electrostatics. Mr. Chancellor, may I present Professor Emeritus Kazimir Ademiak. Will the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates please rise? Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, and distinguished guests, Convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of this university. Today, we honor those students who, through determination, hard work, and intelligence, have met demanding standards of a Western degree. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing the platform join a special group known as Western Alumni that numbers more than 293,000 alumni living in 150 different countries around the world. We are pleased to have Mr. Sandra Daters Beer representing our Alumni Association, and I'd ask her to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Dr. Kibrit McQuinn, representing our Board of Governors, and I would ask him to please stand and be recognized. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives, and friends of our graduates who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your loving support. Now I ask our graduating class to rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. So now we'll proceed with the granting of the degrees and diplomas. Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First. As a courtesy to all graduates and their families,
please hold your applause and any other forms of expressions of joy <laughs> until the public auditors signal when applause is appropriate throughout the ceremony. So let me explain how the ceremony is going to unfold. So first, we're going to admit our PhD candidates to their degree programs. They'll proceed to the platform one by one. So please hold your applause till the last graduate crosses the platform when our public auditors will signal, will acknowledge and applaud them as a group. After that, we'll have three graduates crossing the platform at a time. Again, please refrain from applauding at that point in time at appropriate intervals, because it's a large class, at appropriate intervals, uh, our public auditors will lead us again in acknowledging and cheering up our graduates. What this will do is it'll allow us to hear the names of each graduate as they're called on by the public auditors. And I think it is important. This is a ceremony that we take great deal of pride in, and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. So please help us uh, to make sure that we show respect to each of our graduates, their families and friends. So second, uh, photographs, of course, are important for graduates, their families and friends. Uh, as you have heard before, this ceremony began. We are pleased to provide each graduate with a photograph of this special occasion. We therefore ask that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony. Of course, feel free to take pictures from there. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the School of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Ahmed Abu Hussein. Kalaf Vassan. Alafasan Amiri. Varshad Anushapur. Suleiman Burkane. Xiao Yu Juan
Mohammed Gamal Mohammed El Sayed. Reina Gomez Flores. Jesus Guayaguil Sosa. Medafi Gupta. Sakir Hussan. Yulin Hugh. Yulong Liu. Hesam Malaki. Said Bakshman Angus Jonathan Clemens McLeod. Ahmed Ruby Mohammed Atia Motagi. Debakar Mondal (laughs) 
Uditha Lakmal Jarathna. Ulabode Oyanaya Benaz Pusartip. Anna Tin Nisha Sharma. Laura Vogel. Biju Wong. Dongjing Zhang. Tang Yang Zhang. Mohammed Zorab. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Masters of Engineering. Saranya Adithan, Nadira Ashan, Saprio Ayan.
Rayan Alia, Abdullah Al Madahun, Aisa Anyere. Aksha Yakumar Baratabi Badrashia, James Mimbaze Bakturaki, Bagrava Reddy Bimavarapu. Hu Chai. Yu Ming Chai, Navjat Singh Chima. Hassan Alam. Shu Ho Chen, Emmanuel Ng Chobi. Samira Efandiari, Laila Marie Francisco. Yuing Fu Shan Go Ho Guan Sheng Huang. J.G. Huang, Su Ho Hong, Vaughan William Keeble. Kirti Kutala. Donggrong Li, Jingyu Li. Kai Ho Li, Xiong Hang Li, Yu Ying Li. Chiangqi Li Liang, Yunpeng Lin, Liming Liu. Kwei Lu. Khalid Ahmed Mahmoud Paras Mahotara. Oleski Manakin, Elez Matthew, Jiangdong Hu.
Fan Chuo Meng, Fi Ya Meng, Muhammad Ali Moyed. Ahmed Urab Mohammed, Obfami Odeye J, Emmanuel Udukunkawa. Emmanuel Osakpanan Ogbanman, Oladapo Owalabi, Blari Uzuna. Okay. Akshay Kumar Patel. Darshik Kumar Vindu Kumar Patel, Jordan Persad. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll invite you at this time to congratulate those graduates who have already crossed the stage. Kastub Raju Potdar, Vivek Pal, Anjana Prabhakar. Mohammed Radwan, Tarandeep Kar Sani, Chetan Sharma. Jaskirat Singh, Mandeep Singh, Nilkanth Chankrakant Solanki. Siang Song, Stephen Soroka, Shai Sun. Sophia Arafat Tahat, Diraj Tamatan, Preet Dipinder Verk. <coughs> Mung Wang, Shautong Wang, Xin Wei. Chuan Yu Shu, Chen Wen Shu, Hue Ching Yang. Puyu Yang, 
Song Yong Yu, Yi Wen Yon. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Engineering Science. Ali Fatala Abdullah, Omar El Sagir Abusanina, Adel Rajab Alganidi. Rogaya Babe Koli, Sarah Mariam Banayan, Roberto Barboza Jr. Masa Batagva Shabaz, Ran B, Kevin Arthur Brightwell. Andrew Cullen, Douglas Matthew Cuthbertson, Wei Ray Han. Amanda Kun Bastas, Justin Garrett Lang, Miles Matthew Lidka. Ayushi Gower, Fuad Yahia Alizabi. Mustafa Khaled Mahmoud Al Sawi. Ming Yu Liu, Hao Luo, Matthew David Mahafi. Sarah Montage, Carolina Michelini, Ezine Ursula Ndebueze. Prashant Prabhu, Cheng Chiang, Ramtin Razulinizad. Kevin Robb, Dwaipayan Sarkar, Anthony Sherritt. Corey Daniel Smith, Tong Zhang.
Mr. Chan. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Engineering for the degree Bachelor of Engineering Science. Corey John Abrasazi, Ali Abdelhamid, Ahmed Tarek Abu Jarboa. Jonathan Adams, Sarah Catherine Adams, Aaron Gaetano Alamo. Abdullah Alawadi, Michael Gerard Allen, Mohammed. Alo Haibi. Reem Ahmed Al Masawi, Hassan Al Osman, Ashton Alfonso. Muad Fuad Al Sulaimani, Daniello Arsis, Gamal Eldon Assad. Mustafa Atuf, Wilmer Ryan Aon, Ahmad Gaber Ayad. Brandon Baksh, Isaac Baldwin, Ethan John Barand. Tyler Raymond Barand, Matthew Joseph Bazo, Carolyn Burke Martell, Governor General Silver Medal. Marianne Bortan, Carl Botha, Mark Boutiet. Alexander Brown, Scott Thomas Ronald Brown, Tyler Bull. <laughs> Julius Callender. Benjamin James Cassidy, Benjamin Cavillan. Okay. 
Ahmad Chalabi, Calvin Chan, Zane Charan. Quan Chen, Matthew Sai Hung, Anastasia Childerhose. Dong Yup Choi, Morgan Spencer Christman, Broderick Clement Thorne. Rowan Roderick Collier, Marco Pasquale Convertini, Derek William John Kuhlman. Ross Leslie Cunningham, Ryan Ross Dakin, Katrina Helen Darcel, gold medalist. Jasper Durrett, Alexander Carl Debert, Tyler Jonathan Dayton. Cameron Joseph Della Savia, Andrew Joseph Denemy, Matthew Dercolet. Liam Duncan, Ryan Elias, Amer. Al Farsisi. Mohammed Al Gendi, Patrick Elliott, Brendan Evans. Gregory Andrew Evans, Nima Farhang, Samantha Helen Farrow. Nikolai Faris, Patrick Alexander Fay, Connor John Feely. Go Ha Feng, Marina Nicola Fiorente, Derek Samuel Flegg. Jan Carlo Flora, Catherine Evelyn Fertney, Marco Brandon Stephen Galone.
Connor Brian Giles, Mike Giorgi, Michael Gordon Glibbery. Liam Joseph Godden, David Goodhart, Trent Nilkanth Gordon. Brianna Page Hall, Evan Douglas William Hall, Dong Yoon Han. Sarah Ashraf Hanbali, Bailey Ann Hanna, Matthew Manfred Ruper Hausen. Andrew Joseph Heeslip, Luke William Halpert, gold medalist, Kara Elizabeth Ann Hendricks. Patrick Robert Henri, Devia Jessica Herbert, Brendan Edward Hewton. Marwan Khaled Higgy, Danielle Marie Hull, Kevin Huzevka. Sharon Ismail, Brian Philip Jablonski, Tyler Jobin. Andrew Scott Captur, Andrew Keenly Side, Patrick K. Kehoe. Ethan Kello, Braden Charles Kelly. Ian Douglas Kerr. Puya Kosarafi, Alexander Kermak Kerr, Dennis. Kikinov. Esther Kim, Ethan Joseph Kirkland, Daniel James Clausen.
Kirill Kukoran, Martin Brandon Kusera, Kaiten Kwan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large degree group and you've been very patient, so I think this is a good moment for a round of applause for our graduates. Tyler Jonathan Lacroix, Saad Salim Latif, Jovan Latkovich. Michael Constantine Lavdas, Alex Lee Chan, Jamie Alyssa Lytle. Jingji Lee, Stephen Michael Limberg, Austin Lowe's. Noah Wolf Luder, Jesse McDougall, Matthew Luke Harris Malte. Demetrios Michael Manius, Eric Martin, Joanna Martin. Ahmad Mashur, Chantel Mason, Michelle Mbai. Anthony John McCreary, Timothy McDougald, David Andrew McFarlane. Robert Michael Mahar, gold medalist. Ryan Tyler Medeiros, James Joseph Malisic. Daniel Michelin, R Matthew Ryan Mills, Jarrett Milner. Nicholas Scott Mitchell, Owen Holmes McMurray Mitchell, Patrick Paul Morishevich. Ryan James Morgan, William Peter Moisakos, Yanyu Mu. Amin Muklis, Daryl James Murray, Megan Murray. Nicole Newhouse, Jason Sean Ng, 
Gordon John Han Ng. Andrew Alexander Nidzialik, Shannon Nicole Nuaglowski, Michael Thomas Nasavich. Matthew Andrew Noel. Matthew Friedrich Nurlus, Nelson Ong. Michael Bryce Osadka, Tariq Uda, Kian Quinlan Pagliani. Jin Yu Pan, Jugal Vijay Patel, Andrew Fo. Adam Pops, Brandon Paul Power, Asif Abid Rajani. Cameron Wade Roadhouse, Nathan Road, Christopher Darian Rodowa. Daniel Felipe Rodriguez Macon, Marco Salvatore Rotondo, Joseph William Rusi. Keenan Rowcliffe, Aidan Joel Saborin, Jennifer Lorraine Rogers. Yeah. Michael Jose Ramoa. Shahan Siddiqui, Tudor Sanachan, uh, sorry, Tudor Sanachan. Garrett Jonathan Satosik, Emery Ethan Serpenchi, gold medalist. Rami Shato. Alexander Michael Sikora, Devendra Diraj Singh, Monica Anna Sokolsky. Ankur J. Sood, Zachary Spreel, Thomas Gregory Spreet. Stretch. 
Russell Sterling, Octavian Strachan, Tarek Taye. Christian Alexander Gordon Tippett, gold medalist. Garrett Taves, Benjamin Robert Tolman. Connie Marie Trong, Joshua Graham Underwood, Benjamin Richard Vanderzam. Mitchell John Vandenhovel, Marlon Michael Vaz, Duncan Wamsley Kennedy. Shu Yi Wong, Yi Min Wong, Matthew Carl Vonger. Eveline Warmels, Joshua Daniel Weinstein, gold medalist, Avery Catherine Tobin Weintraub. Catherine Rose Wemple, Tyler Mark Williams, Fan Wu. Tony Wu, Jinan Wu, Sheng Wan Zhu. Lin Pen Yang, Thomas Yang, Hong Yu. Julian Zane, Kasim Zabian, Jacob Anthony Zerko. Efren Andre Zerpa Navas. Chi Hong Zhang, Rong Zhu Zhang. Xiaoran Zhang, Teresa Carmela Zita, Kathleen Zahorsky. Noor Zurab.
Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Engineering Science International Collaborative. Don Mei Chen. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Ms. Sandra datters Bear, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, Dr. Clawway, distinguished guests, family, friends, and of course, fellow graduates. It is indeed my great honor and privilege to welcome you on behalf of Western's Alumni Association and to congratulate you for a job well done. You have worked hard to complete your studies and examinations, and today you received your well-earned degrees. Western, our faculties, our affiliate university colleges are all very proud of its world-class standing, and we know that you share that pride as graduates of our undergraduate and graduate programs. Now, all of you join our growing global community of Western alumni. We are all united by the Western experience, our cherished time here and the memories we have from that, particularly the knowledge that we've gained, and most perhaps importantly, the friends that we've made. You'll find your Western experience continues as alumni, and I encourage you to remain purple and proud by participating actively as alumni, cultivating the strength and the global reputation of our alma mater. It is also my pleasure today to invite you and your guests to attend a reception in your honor to be held in the University Community Center, the Mustang Lounge. It will uh, happen immediately following convocation. There'll be refreshments, and that's also where you'll receive your 2018 class pin. To you, your friends and families, enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve today and always. And remember, wherever life takes you, Western will always be home. Congratulations. Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned.